Welcome to one of our featured items in the upcoming Screen Used July 2012 auction. I'm Desi with Screen Used, and I'll be showing you this item in detail. Blue Harvest was a fictitious name for the production of the third Star Wars film, Return of the Jedi, and was used for shooting that took place in the United States. Everything was labeled Blue Harvest from clapperboards to invoices, call sheets, even crew hats and t-shirts. This was to ensure secrecy of the filming. Anyway, what we have here is an original clapperboard or camera slate that was used by one of the cameramen during the filming of Return of the Jedi. It still has the original Blue Harvest lettering on the slate, as well as the handwritten lettering from the last scene it was used for during filming. This clapperboard was then put away in storage and only recently has surfaced. There are many very unique features about the clapperboard from the placement of the lettering to layers of tape, to the many nicks and scratches all over. These character traits also help positively match it on screen in some of the featurette videos available on the Star Wars DVDs. Another very interesting aspect of this clapperboard is that the cameraman used it in four other productions prior to filming Return of the Jedi. He hand wrote those movie names and dates on the top edge of the clapperboard. It was used in the movie Stripes, starring Bill Murray, the clapperboard was also used in Escape from New York, starring Kurt Russell. It was used in Any Which Way You Can, starring Clint Eastwood. And lastly, it was used in The Thing, again starring Kurt Russell, which was filmed in 1981 before it was ultimately used in Return of the Jedi. The clapperboard is available for sale in our upcoming auction. The auction is being held on July 21st, 2012, starting at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, and will be held online at iCollector.com. As with most films, several clapperboards were used throughout the production. In researching the Star Wars DVDs, we were able to run across this exact clapperboard in an outtake. Everything on the board matches exactly. Scratches, imperfect spacing between lettering, even the little alligator sticker that was placed on the board by the cameraman throughout the shoot. Of course, the date labels will be changed constantly, and the handwritten areas of the board were erased and written over and over. If you'd like to learn more about the auction, just go to our website at screenuse.com and click on the Auction tab. Here you can look at the auction catalog, download a copy, as well as click through to register for the auction. The auction is being held at iCollector.com, and the site allows searching through the auction to locate items such as the clapperboard we just presented. Thanks for taking the time to view this feature video. We hope to see you online at the auction. If you have any questions, please see the website for contact information.